everybody comes in here. She doesn't think about the money. She makes sure that everybody has what they need. Most of the vacant land around Curly's Diner is slated for development by Corcoran Jenison. They'll be building uh, luxury high-rise residential units here. The problem is right now that this fence cuts everybody off from accessing the back of the diner. It makes it even harder to get in for parking or for deliveries of food or removal of garbage. How is it different from other diners? Is that Maria treats her employees like family and, and, and her customers. Maria has been part of this community and it's like coming for breakfast at the family's house. And these two ladies, you know, they are here faithfully every day. And if you ain't got money, if you're a regular customer, they give you a meal. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Thank you. This whole issue of whether redevelopment commissions can take land and turn it over for private development is slated to go before the U.S. Supreme Court sometime this year. There are test cases all across the country. I've been waitressing here for about a month now. I have seen people come in here with no money, with their kids, and I've seen, honest to God, I have seen Maria feed the people that don't have any money. I, she gives to them, she gives from her heart. She's very, very generous. I've seen her, she takes care of everybody. The homeless, everybody comes in here. She doesn't think about the money. She makes sure that everybody has what they need. She cares about the city. She cares about the people that come in. Eleni, you're the co-owner with Maria of the diner? Yes. How long have you two owned this diner? From 1976. Maria, two years ago, you won a state Supreme Court case in Connecticut. And it saved your diner from being taken by eminent domain. Target's an, an example of the level of development that's been going on in Stanford for the last 15 years. Besides being a major corporate headquarters, a, a number of big box retailers have uh, moved into Stanford. And this creates even more pressure on local uh, small property owners to hand their property over for redevelopment. Are you having a new problem? Yeah, now they squeeze me out of here. They put the fence all around. I cannot get no garbage. So I cannot get the uh, who's my they? Deliveries. Who's uh, they? The Marie? URC and Mermoloy, you know, the city of Stanford. You know, the URC is the Urban Redevelopment yes. Commission. And yeah. were they the people who tried to take your diner originally? Yes. And why weren't they able to succeed in taking it? Because the, uh, I lost in the, the Stanford court, but I went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court says they don't have no right to take it from me. Okay. Know. Now, why are they putting a fence up around your property? To squeeze me out. So you why, why do they say they're doing it? They say, you know, I don't have no easement, you know, and they know for sure, 1982, when they took my property for FD Ritz, because you're supposed to uh, develop a... Uh, you know, a shopping center, you know, they gave me the easement. Now they say I don't have no easement. Curly's Diner was the subject of a major lawsuit that was finally resolved by the Connecticut Supreme Court two years ago. The Urban Redevelopment Commission laid claim to the diner and attempted to take it by eminent domain. The state Supreme Court claimed that, uh, finally decided that the URC didn't have jurisdiction over this property and some nearby properties whose owners had already sold out. Curly's Diner was the sole property that refused to sell and that produced the litigation. Once again, the diner's involved in a controversy that will probably end up in court because now the URC has put a fence around the diner, creating health hazards, cutting patrons off from parking, and probably putting the pre pressure on the owners to 
sell the diner at some point or slug it out in court. How you doing, honey? Huh? Hey, hombre, esto dos está bien? Quiero poquito café más? No. I think it's a shame. Um, I'm I'm pro development, but not when it takes away certain parts of tradition that have been um, existing in Stanford for a long time, and Curly's is one of them. Uh, you just can't do that. It's just not right. We've talked to people who know something about what's required to put up a fence, and I'm told that the URC never applied for a permit to put this fence up, that in effect the, the fence is probably illegal, although we're not recommending that anybody rush in and tear it down. But it's pretty unusual when part of the town government, without warning, just swoops down and basically intrudes on a property owner's rights the way the URC has done with Curly's Diner. Curly's Diner, up against the metal, up against the wires, up against the chains, up Thank against you. the poles, we write poetry. Up against the cold, up against the choking, up against the squeezing, up against the hardness, we write poetry. Up against the rail, up against the corral, up against the bureau pen, up against the barricade, we write poetry. When I came in here, I was I knew that they're gonna make a road in the back. That's why that time they left the diner and they took only the road because the diner it was a landmark. They said to us, and we're gonna take only the road because the road it was you know the city. Now, is your road. easement on the land records, or don't you know the answer to that yet? Well, uh, we don't know because we cannot find the records. They, uh, they, everything disappeared. Mimi last. You know, everything disappeared. Yeah. And what are you doing for rubbish removal? I, I have the, the, the men with a truck come and, and I, I throw the garbage over the fence, inside the truck. I believe Maria, the owner of Curly's Diner, has worked out an arrangement with another restaurant nearby. So somehow um, she's had to make new arrangements to get this dumpster e emptied on a regular basis. Or, the health department will surely close this place down. When did this fence go up? It went on Friday uh, last week, but uh, or the week before. I don't remember. To tell you okay. But Monday they came and put. Did it anyone forward. ever talk to you and say, Maria, we think we're entitled to put a fence on your land. No, we want you to no, know it's no. going to happen. No, I I, I thought uh, I went outside to the diner to to smoke a cigarette and I see the man he was making holes and I asked him what are you doing this regard? He says I'm putting a fence. I said why you want to do that? He says uh, because uh, the city of Tampa said me to put a fence over here and if I don't do it I'm going to lose my job. I said no, no, you have to do whatever you have to do. Maria, what are you going to do about this problem now? I'm going to go back to court. And how are you going to go back to court? Are you, are you interviewing lawyers right now? Uh, not yet because I don't have the money. I apply to get a loan in the Patriot Bank so I can get the money.